Uh, installation is complete. Uh, I've installed the third light. Yes, it's not legal as such. But uh, worst case, I can just put a, a cover over it and disconnect it. From that aside, I've got two spread, one on each side, spot in the middle for distance. I will line them up so they'll obviously cover half the road and half the bush. Because in the NT, you get a lot of wildlife on the road. Same with the other bush tracks. Now, I didn't have to drill any other holes to run the cable through the bull bar. And so on. On the other side of the bull bar, I've got a plug. That goes straight into the backbone. I would have used black, but I ran out of uh, black heat shrink. In this case, I had to use green. And there's the other plug for there. And it's just a matter of one cable going up through there. That's my battery isolator. Up to the relay behind the battery. I'm very happy with these lights. They don't vibrate, they don't leak water, they don't fog up, anything like that. They're fairly durable. Our work ones come loose, but I just think they just don't tighten them up enough. I use these clear covers from ARB. The only thing I found with these is this plastic insulation, if you like it, you want to call it, which prevents the plastic from scratching the light. That can come loose and shift when the glue gets warm due to the sun. To overcome this, I've used super glue, and that seems to work. Uh, they don't turn much. They haven't marked the, the housing itself. This is a brand new like this one. And this is an old one. That's from a screwdriver. But there's a couple little wear marks, but otherwise it's very minimal. And I'm very happy with the overall outcome. Uh, and that's pretty much it. One day I'll get an amp meter and find out the actual draw of it. I'm it's in the 30 amp range. There you have it.